Hey everyone, it's the Jose Prieto here, and this is 366 Days of Cards, Day 33, I believe. And today I'm going to do a couple more deck reviews. I was actually planning on doing a couple more reviews yesterday. Actually, this one. But I, my camera died. Oh, it's doing this. Let me just show you that. This deck is a Sleeman. The deck of playing cards. Sleeman is a uh, brand of beer here in Canada. And it's pretty good too. I like it. Not that I can don't drink it, and not that I drink that much myself. I rarely drink, it, actually, to be honest. But it's probably my favorite beer. The deck actually came inside of a much bigger box, which looks identical to the one that the deck is in. And as you can see, it has a bunch of different characters on it. There's Al Capone. There's a couple of uh, barmaids, the 1800 style barmaids, it looks like, and one of the beer guys. And then this is another one of the beer guys. It looks like he's in the 1800s as well. And then there's some kind of a uh, pirate. More on that in a bit. And the deck actually came inside that box, inside of a nice tin, which says Sleeman, notoriously good since 1834 and this is a maple leaf and a beaver which is like our national animal <laughs> we one of them anyways we Canadians do love our beaver if you know what I mean that's kind of just a bad joke I guess <laughs> anyways the front of the box looks like this is a Sleeman both on top and bottom notoriously good since 1834 the picture is actually a complete mirror image so it's not a, so it's a one-way back design and this is what the back looks like of the cards on both sides it just simply says plain cards top and bottom actually have nothing and the back is the same as the front now what's interesting is you open up the flap it's a little bit hard to do actually but the flap actually just continues the design from the back of the box which is kind of cool <clears throat> um, I did not get to set this one up, I was anxious to start recording. Just bear with me one quick moment. Oops. Ace of Spades looks like this. All the aces look like this. <clears throat> There's a pirate guy on there. Looks like he's right out of the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. And it says Pirates Slimin. And it reads, Swashbuckling pirates of the high seas. Our early ancestors were named Slyman. On land, they opened taverns. And the name became Slimin. Which is where the name of the beer came from, I guess. And there's the back design of cards. Like I said, the same as the box. And it's a very one-way back design because it's a very one-way image and notoriously good is only on a one way the jokers look like this they both say joker in the two corners one in black one in red one thing and also about the cards is they all have this bit of a border on the top and the bottom you can see there's a bit of a border on the bottom and the top and the joke is say John W. Sleeman, and he got this own guy holding a beer. And it says when his aunt gave him the historical bottle in the Sleeman family recipe book, John Sleeman risked everything to restart the family brewery, and the rest is history. Are there notable cards? Court cards. Start with the king. The king has John H. Sleeman. I guess that's the ancestor of the current John Sleeman. And you can see he's a frontiers type guy. Looks like Charles England of Little House in the Prairie or something like that. And he's holding the beer as well. It says, In 1834, our founder came to the frozen frontiers of Canada armed with just a burning desire to succeed and a passion for brewing great beer. Attaboy. <laughs> The Queen's 
The queen, I should say, all the queens look like this. It says the philanderfer. And it says, well, George Sleeman went on to become the first mayor of Guelph, which is in Ontario, Canada. <clears throat> His brother enjoyed the spoils of being a successful brewer's son, if you know what we mean. And you see he's being, you see he's got these uh, attractive barmaids on either side of him. He's enjoying life while his brother became the mayor of a town in Ontario. Kind of cool. The Jack is Al Capone himself. It says hidden on the vegetable cart, Sleeman Beer was smuggled to the likes of Al Capone during Prohibition. But hey, we didn't see nothing. <laughs> and that was a time period in the States where alcohol was illegal. Just think about this for a moment. Had the United States continued the Prohibition on alcohol, we would have saved millions of lives due to accidents related to drunk driving and other incidents involving drinking and partying and beatings and killings and stuff like that. All these murders because the United States decided to legalize drinking again. <clears throat> Just my opinion though. And the tens look like this. Gratuitous growth which is a hot looking girl in a gold signy bikini holding a beer and it says although not officially officially part of the Sleeman family she did play a role in Sleeman's notoriously good commercial and we bet no one's complaining if you want to see the commercial search it on YouTube I'm sure it's there somewhere anyway so that gets pretty interesting because the tans actually have a figure on them never seen that before the only thing you notice about the court cards, they also have this yellowy color to them. Same with the jokers. <coughs> and the aces. And the aces all look like that. Some of the cards are a little bit different too. The freeze, as you can see, have the pips diagonally, which is kind of interesting. All the cards, like I said, have this border on the top and the bottom. And the twos are also diagonal. I'm going to quickly show you know, all the cards. The aces all had that pirate on them. It's a pretty interesting deck. I think I've already shown you the back design. The cards didn't handle too badly out of the box. But after playing them just a little bit, they started to sell. They're too quality. <laughs> they don't fan very good at all. They do have that one way back design. They don't have white borders on them. Just a thin border matching the backs of the cards which is a ivory color I guess they drove off pretty nicely and they spread pretty nicely and that actually looks pretty interesting because of that dark color in the center however like I said fanning not so good obviously it's a cheaper quality deck but it is very nice. I like it. I'm glad to have it in my collection. I actually got this from a friend the other day. I was a bit surprised. Wasn't expecting it. Uh, probably the most interesting deck of beer company playing cards out there. And he just got these in a case of beer. He actually had two of them, so he gave me one. And I thank him. It's very nice. Sorry this review is a little bit long, but I'll see you next time.